Hello everyone. What we're going to focus on in this video <coughs> is how we plot specific points. So here, using a scale of one centimeter to represent one unit on both axes, plot the following points. So that's the scale that we're going to use. But before we can plot points, there is just some things that you need to remember. So if you have a positive X coordinate, then this suggests that you are going to make a horizontal movement to the right, all right? If you have a negative X coordinate, this suggests that you are going to make a horizontal movement to the left, all right? If you have a positive Y coordinate, this suggests that you are going to make a vertical movement up, all right? And if you have a negative Y component, this suggests that you are going to make a vertical movement down. Right. Note that all points are plot in the form x, comma, y. So all points are plot in the form x, comma, y, where the first component is a x component and the second coordinate is a y coordinate. Okay. So here we have some points and all of them are written in the form x comma y so just remember that positive x suggests horizontal movement to the right negative x suggests horizontal movement to the left positive y suggests vertical movement up and negative y suggests vertical movement down all right so as you can see here i already have my graph paper being rolled up where the scale and both axes are one centimeter to one unit notice this is my y-axis this is my x-axis here and if you measure the distance between each number then that would be one centimeter right Okay, so let's plot these points now. Note that all points that are on the Cartesian coordinate system is relative to the origin, all right? Meaning that to plot each point on this system, we're going to start at the origin. So we want to plot point A that has coordinate three and five. Note that both coordinates are positive. So what this is saying, from the origin, we are going to make three movements to the right and five movement up. So let's do that. So from the origin, you start at the origin, we are going to go horizontally and we are going to go to the right. So it's going to be one, two, three to the right. From this point now, we're going to go up five. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Where this vertical line and this horizontal line intersect each other, that's exactly where you're going to put the point A. It's right there. So this is going to be point A. And the coordinate of point A is three comma five. All right, to point B now, we have negative three for the X coordinate and positive three for the Y coordinate. Remember again, the negative is saying that we must go to the left. So it's from the origin, we're going to go three units to the left. So it's going to be one, two, three units to the left. From there now, we're going to go up three units. So it's going to go one, two, three. 
So it would be right here where both lines intersect each other. That's going to be point B. And the coordinate of point B is going to be negative three, comma, positive three. All right, the point C, both coordinates are negative. Suggest that we're going to go to the left two units and down three units. So let's do that. From the origin, we're going to count one, two units to the left. From this point now, we need to go down three units. So it's going to be one, two, three, which takes us right here. So this is going to be point C, all right? So this is point C and the coordinate of point C is going to be negative two comma negative three, all right? Now to plot point D, we have positive one, negative one. So just that we are going to make one movement to the right and one movement down. So from the origin, we're going across one to the right. And from that point, we're going down one, which takes us right here. So point D would be right here. And the coordinate of point D is positive one, comma, negative one, all right? Now to point E, we have a positive two and a negative two. So just that we are going to go two to the right and two down. So remember positive means that we're going to the right, a positive X. So from the origin here, we're going to go one, two, that's two to the right. And from there, we're going to go two down. So it's going to be one, two. So it takes us right here. And that is going to be point E. And the coordinate is positive two comma negative two. All right, the next point now, which is point F, we have negative four, that's the X coordinate and negative two, that's the Y coordinate, suggesting that we're going four units to the left and two units down. So let's do that. From the origin, we're going to go one, two, three, four units to the left. From here now, we're going to go one, two units down. So this is point F. And the coordinate of point F is negative four, comma, negative two. G, we have a positive X component and a negative Y component, suggests that we are going to go five units to the right and five units down. So from the origin, remember we always start at the origin. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. From here now, we're going five down. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, which takes us to this point here. So this is going to be G. And the coordinate of G is positive five, comma, negative five. Now we have two more to go, which is H. Again, this is zero on the X and negative two on the Y. So again, we start at the origin. So if we go to the origin, it is saying that we must make zero movements on the X. So we mean zero movement and then two units down. So it would be one, two, that will take us right here on the X axis. And this is going to be point H and the coordinate of point H is zero comma negative two. Now I know it's six zero. So the X coordinate is six, positive six that is, and the Y coordinate is zero. So from the origin, we're going to go six units to the right. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, and zero movement on the Y. So it's just going to be on the X axis right here. And that is going to be I. 
and the coordinate of i is 6 comma 0. So that is how you plot point on a specific skill. All right. Thank you for watching and do enjoy the rest of your day.